Miro or Miro, I'm not sure, and forgive me if I'm butchering your name, but <laughs> Miro, I'm going to say, lives in Phoenix, Arizona. Hi, Paul. I have power-hungry speakers. Ooh, the Mirage M1s. Ooh, I remember the Mirage. Those are bipoles. Uh, we, uh, yesterday, we talked about dipoles, which is front and back speakers that the front's in phase, the rear of the speaker, like an open baffle speaker, is out of phase. And the Mirage did what's called a bipole. They had front and back speakers, but in a sealed box, and they kept everything in phase. So very different. Okay. Um, and I power it with a Pro Amp, a Crown XLI in my case. The reason I went that route was because of the watt per dollar ratio. While it does the job and I'm happy with the sound, unfortunately, I've not had the chance to hear those speakers on a home style amp other than my AV receiver, which simply cannot drive those speakers successfully without shutting itself off. Yeah, makes sense. In your opinion, would it be worth it to spend the extra money for a nice home amp of equivalent power or would there be almost no difference? Yeah, I am going to recommend that you do exactly that. Now, if you can find somebody to, well, I mean, order one from us, take it home, you play with it for 30 days. If it doesn't do the trick, send it back. We have a, a no-hassle, money-back guarantee. I mean, it's, we ship it to you for free. You play with it for 30 days and send it back. I, I, and, and I'm sure there are other companies that do that. Dealers out there that would be willing to loan you an amp, uh, any number of ways that you could probably do that. But do pick one that you have some level of confidence that it is a high-end amplifier, like the stuff we make, like the stuff any one of the people that show up, uh, you know, what were there, God, 200 exhibitors at the last Expona show, and all of them are legitimate high-end audio manufacturers. Now, I'm sure they all make really great stuff. So whoever you choose, do that. I have never been a fan of Crown. Crown makes bulletproof amplifiers that are used all over the world in pro audio applications. And you're right, for a, the, the watt per dollar ratio is excellent on that. Probably better than almost anything out there. They're just not audiophile amplifiers. They're just, they're good. They're, they're, they always work come rain, sun, you know, whatever you got powering those systems. They just can't have amps go down, and Crown does a fabulous job. I just don't like the way they sound at all. And I am absolutely convinced that if you were to give a try to a similarly powered amplifier from any high-end audio company worth their salt, you are going to be a happy camper and pretty surprised at the difference that you're going to hear. Okay? Good luck with that. And if you have a chance, drop me a line. Let me know how it all works out. All right. Take it easy. I'll talk to you tomorrow.